so bored watch, watching that fight. The only thing excited about that fight was the last 10 seconds, to be honest. But I didn't see any technique in that that that, that fight. I didn't see any strategy. I didn't see anything. I just saw a bar fight, to be honest. It was very spectacular for the fans, but for me as a professional, it was a, I don't know, not something very impressive, to be honest, because you can impress everyone, but you know the technique behind that knockout, and it was zero. Just an exchange and a ball. I mean, your face said so otherwise, so it is what it is, brother. I challenge you to, to have that, that exchange, but in the first 10 seconds of the fight and you will see what's gonna happen. When you face a fighter like me inside the octagon who brings that technique and that power, you can do that. ¿Cuál crees que te acercaría más al número uno libra por libra? Eh, no tengo idea, que el número uno llegará en los libra por libra, ¿sabes? ¿Cuál de ellos me acercaría más? La pelea so que más... Tori is a nightmare. Yes, he is. He's a nightmare. Yeah. He's he's scary. What he did to Josh Emmett, I was like, nasty. oh, man. <laughs> he's nasty. What he did to Bryce, beat your it's legs up. It's a real problem. It, it, I, he beats your legs up, and then he forces you to make a mistake, and he takes it. Yeah, yeah. But there are people that are so massive in other parts of the world that it's, it, it's very hard sometimes to comprehend. So what will happen if Taporia knocks out Max Holloway, which, by the way, I think is the only way he's going to be. And that's what I think. I think one of these guys has got to stop the other one. Because that heart and that grit, and I'm coming after you, I'm going to keep on trying to win, I don't think that that's a switch that gets flipped off. However, we must be pretty fair on Ilya Tuporia, guys. We don't know a ton. Like, one of the times where Taporia really, for me, one of the ones that, whoa, really opened my eyes was this fight with Josh Emmett, and that's a fight that you guys probably don't even think of. But that was a fight with me where I stood back and go, hey, wait a minute, there's something here. And I would rather see Ilya do well than not, I must tell you, and that's the wrestler in me. You can call it like a fraternity or a brotherhood, but this, this, this is a, a wrestler. Twitched over to boxing at a young age, came into to MMA. But what would happen if he won? How big would that go? Sean O'Malley was a very big star. But I was in Boston the night that he shut off Aljo. And things did change. As great as they were, boy, they became a lot greater. I was in Miami when they announced the gate of 14 plus million and stars like Dustin Poirier had to open for O'Malley. He was the closing act and put on his great performance. I'm, I'm just sharing with you the biggest Connor was. That 11 7 second knockout of Jose Aldo. As big as Connor was. Going out there seven and a half minutes, Madison Square Garden against Eddie Alvarez. Like things change. And I'm not just asking if he beats Max. I'm asking you what will happen to Ilya Deporia if he knocks out Max. Because if Taporia goes and he's gonna he's gonna shoot through the roof and he's gonna be the, the the world's biggest star. Okay, great. As much as you like Diego Lopez, do you believe that Diego Diego Lopez should be fighting our biggest star? I realize that you're you're gonna conclude, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I'm sharing how cool that is. I'm sharing how amazing is that to Diego Lopez that you guys like, but he was kind of an afterthought. International fight week in June 29th. He's got a match that we wanted to see with Ortega and they switched the weight of it and it didn't matter because it wasn't a contendership or a title anyway. Oh, by the way, they pulled Ortega out completely, switched the weight again, to be drive Dan Ige in from, from up the road. I mean, as cool as these things were, you're going to be talking about leapfrogging a hard and leapfrogging the entire organization. You're going to take Diego Lopez and you're going to put him in a feature spot against what could be one of the biggest draws in Ilya Tapuria who, by the way, is young, who, by the way, is the only undefeated champion, who, by the way, if he gets the jump on Max, should become the BMF champion. He's not going to. Let's save that thought for another day. Hard to believe that, that the guy across from you wake him up. You wake him up, shake his hand, thank him for coming, and he walks out of there as a champion that, that, that you don't get. Hard to believe, but I'm going to add that to the story. 
I might as well. Dustin Poirier is the one that brought it up. Dustin Poirier said, let's do a four-man tournament. Me and Gaethje, Max and Taporia, let's draw into each other. I would love Fight that. fans, welcome back to Luxury Tainments. Ilya Tiporia makes his first UFC featherweight title defense at UFC 308 as Max Holloway looks to become a two-time champion. Ilya Tiporia, with 15 wins, zero losses, ended Alexander Volkanovsky's five-year title reign earlier this year, the only featherweight to beat Volkanovsky. Ilya Tepuria accomplished what Max Holloway failed to do on three separate occasions. Equipped with terrifying power and submission skills, Spain and Georgia's first UFC champion is ready to build his legacy. Max Holloway has been at 145 pounds since first losing to Volkanovski in 2019. Since then, Max Holloway has beaten everyone he's fought in the division besides his fellow former champion. Riding a three-fight winning streak, including the 2024 Knockout of the Year frontrunner against Justin Gagey in a lightweight BMF title fight. Tuporia carries far more power in his punches and appears more motivated than ever to defend his belt. He'll control the dance and win this fight on damage, with the Spanish Georgian capable of switching the lights off at any given moment, and Max Holloway willing to walk through the fire to land his flashy combinations, the title fight could go down in UFC folklore history. The pair are both coming into the collision with incredible momentum. In his last outing at UFC 298, Tuporia rendered Alexander Volkanovsky unconscious in devastating fashion to claim the featherweight strap. Meanwhile, Max Holloway made history putting on a remarkable display against Justin Gagey at UFC 300 before pointing to the center of the cage and trading with his rival landing the knockout blow with just a single second left on the clock. Ilya Tupera's striking. Tupera's striking is characterized by his power and precision. With a boxing heavy approach, he delivers explosive punches that can end fights instantly as he demonstrated to win the title against Volkanovski with a devastating overhand right. His ability to mix up his strikes with takedowns and keep opponents guessing is a key component of his stand-up game. Topuria often uses his striking to set up his grappling, making him a well-rounded threat. Now let's look at Max Holloway's striking. Holloway's striking is all about volume and accuracy. He holds the record for the most significant strikes landed in a single UFC fight, showcasing his ability to overwhelm opponents with his relentless pressure. Holloway's footwork and the head movement make him difficult to hit, and his jab is one of the best in the division. He excels in long exchanges and often breaks opponents with his pace. Let's now assess the grappling side of things. Ilya Tupere's grappling. Tupere is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt and has a strong wrestling base. His grappling is aggressive, often seeking submissions rather than simply controlling his opponents. He has multiple wins by submission, indicating his proficiency in finishing fights on the ground. Tupere's ability to blend his striking with takedowns makes him a dual threat. 
Max Holloway's grappling. While Holloway is primarily known for his striking, his grappling defense is highly underrated. He has shown excellent takedown defense throughout his career, successfully thwarting attempts from some of the best wrestlers in the division. Max Holloway's ability to keep the fight standing plays into the strength, allowing him to utilize his striking to full effect. Now let's look at the strengths and weaknesses of each fighter. Ilya Tuperia strengths, explosive power and precision in striking, high level grappling and submission skills, aggressive fight style that keeps opponents on the defensive. His weaknesses, potential vulnerability to high volume strikers, less experience in five round fights compared to Holloway, and a tendency to rely heavily on power, which can lead to openings for counter attacks. Now let's look at the strengths for Max Holloway. Exceptional striking volume and accuracy. Great cardio and endurance, particularly in the championship rounds. Another strength, he has high fight high Q and adaptability. Now let's look at his weaknesses. Open to heavy punches in moments. Occasional slow starts in fights, potentially giving early rounds away tendency to engage in brawls which can lead to taking unnecessary damage now let's look at the key factors and potential strategies firstly Ilya is Tuperia's path to victory Tuperia should leverage his power and grappling skills to disrupt Holloway's rhythm early aggression and takedown attempts can put Holloway on the defensive limiting his striking volume Tupere's best chance lies in landing significant strikes early on or securing a submission on the ground. Now let's look at Max Holloway's path to victory. Max Holloway needs to utilize his reach and volume to keep Tupere at bay. By maintaining a high pace and using lateral movement, he can avoid Tupere's power shots. Holloway's cardio will be crucial, especially in later rounds where he can capitalize on Tuperia. Precision striking and constant pressure will be key to his success. If Tuperia can impose his game plan early, he has a good chance of securing a finish via knockout or submission. However, if Holloway can weather the early storm and drag the fight into deep waters, his experience and endurance may prevail. Overall, Tuporia has the slight edge as he has the one-punch knockout power that could end the fight at any moment. And Max Holloway has shown openings to be hit in his previous fights. Along with the willingness to brawl at times which is highly dangerous against someone like Tuporia. Also to add, Max Holloway is open to submissions on the ground against elite grapplers and this could also be a risk if Toporia can take him down. However, Max can have the style to neutralize Toporia with his rapid footwork range and more diverse range of striking. This fight is expected to be a thrilling contest showcasing who is the best featherweight in MMA today. Fans should anticipate a high energy battle with the potential for both striking exchanges and grappling scrambles. The outcome will be decided by who can better implement their strategy more effectively throughout the rounds and establish the fight within their area of expertise. BMFs, but how big is Ilya Tapore going to be? What would you do with him after that? And by the way, guys, this was a psychological trick. 30 seconds ago, I just told you that he's going to draw into Diego Lopez. I was waiting. I was waiting for you to speak up and correct the record and tell me that Volkanovsky is next, but you didn't do that. So how big is he? If he blows up and he is one of these massive stars, I mean, it's one of these things. We don't know if O'Malley's coming back or O'Malley's taking a year off. I'm very close to being able to announce to you guys that Conor McGregor is never going to fight again. I'm not there. I haven't, I haven't, but I'm, I'm this close. 
Alex Pierre, as great as he is, he's got three different weight classes. Possibly that's one of the things that makes him great. But what I'm sharing for you is if you have Ilya Tepori off of a knockout over Max, it's going to be a very big deal. Do you want to draw him into a rematch? Historically speaking, when you have a massive star, do you draw them in to rematches against an older veteran? There's a rule in fighting, guys. And if you ever go over to my partner, DraftKings, and you ever have an opportunity, go take their money. If a younger fighter beats an older fighter and they rematch, the younger fighter will beat him again, only faster. That is a rule. I'm speaking slowly so you can find an example where that didn't come through, but you won't find one that includes in boxing. It's a rule, and I might not like it. I like nostalgia, and I like to cheer for the other guy. I was told that rule by Max Kellerman. We were leading into Anderson Silva versus Chris Weidman part two. So guys, who do you have winning between Ilya Tuporia versus Max Holloway? Thank you for joining us on Luxurtainment today. Stay tuned for more updates on the Clash of Titans and other exciting stories that define the intersection of luxury and entertainment in the fighting world. Until next time. Signing off. really tough if you want to stop him you have to choke him or knock him out this guy is gonna fight five times potential number one contender islam makachev that is the fight that needs to happen